Hello everyone, I managed to get ancestral items from the level 60 in solo and I'll give you my tips for you to easily get them. Even if you don't have the level, you'll see that it's quite easy to get them, I'll explain everything in that video. It's something working in solo, meaning that you can by your own getting all the ancestral items that you want. There are two things that you need to keep in mind. First one, it's for soft core only, because you'll die a lot. It doesn't matter in soft core since you'll get legendary items, but of course it won't work in hardcore. The second thing is of course that you need to have unlocked the tier 4 difficulty. With a good build at level 60, you should be able to do it and in the case that you don't make it, it will be the only time when you can ask a friend for help. So we'll be using world events which are very easy to do in tier 4 because you have plenty of people doing it at the same time. First one, world bosses. You just need to go at the spawn location and you'll see that the boss will quickly be down. With that, you'll get a few legendary ancestrals. Of course, wall bosses are not always here, that's why there's other tip to get your ancestral items. The second one are the legend events. They are also very easy to do in a group because they'll quickly clear everything. At the end, in the chest, you'll get some ancestral items. With some luck, they'll be legendary, but you can also find some nice ancestral rare items. For example, my weapon and amulet were rare and I turned them into legendary ancestral items. Of course, keep in mind that you need to do this only for GG items because it's very expensive to do so. But for example, for my weapon, it gave me about twice my DPS, so it was of course very interesting to do it. Then you have two activities left. The first one, Hell Tides. You can get the chest resource from killing basic enemies. That's why it's quite easy to do. But be very careful because if you die, you lose half of your resources. So you won't be able to open chest if you die. You can just start to kill trash mobs and also follow advanced players. The last one, Whispering Tree. You can do its activities in order to gain ancestral items. Sometimes you'll be blocked by a boss, it's okay, just move to the next activity. You'll also have other players there who are doing the Whisper and make it faster. So as I mentioned, it took me about 2 Paragon levels from 60 to 62 in solo in order to move from sacred item to ancestral items. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that these tips will help you to improve your character and after that you should be prepared to farm Nightmare Dungeon in T4.